Guys, how are you today? This is Big, and I am here to uh, take you through Logic's Ultrabeat drum machine. So the first thing I did was, let me get this out, let me get this out, let me get this out, was open an instance of Ultrabeat. Now, I'm using my own samples. I'm not using any of the factory kits. And um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put whatever samples you want to use into the same folder that the Ultrabeat samples are in um, within uh, application support. Then you go to Logic. Then you go to Ultrabeat samples. Drop your samples in there. I have like uh, five or six different drum kits of my own that were sampled um, that I want to use. So what I did is I opened up an instance of Ultrabeat. I made it a uh, multiple output version, which is right down here. Ultrabeat. Down here to Ultrabeat here. There's a stereo version, there's a multi-output. Let's do the multi-output here. Okay. I'm just gonna play something here. All right, cool. What I did was, I clicked on the first section right here. It's a sample 01, which I'm gonna now rename kick. I'm gonna go to sample two, and I'm gonna rename that clap. Sample three is gonna be hi-hat. Okay, now what happens is I hit I hit kick here. That's where I'm going to add my kick. I'm going to open up the MIDI browser. Move this out of the way a little bit. And I'm going to navigate my browser to the um, my Macintosh hard drive, then to library, then to application support. Go down to logic. Now there's, there's a folder in here that says Ultrabeat samples. When I open that up, that's all the Ultrabeat kits that came with logic plus the ones that I made myself, which were just a folder of WAV files that I took from different sample sets that I had already. Uh, samples. Okay, so I went here and just drag a clap sound. Let's say I just grab this clap four here. Drag and drop it. Now that's clap four. I hit the key right here, and it's clap four. All right, cool. 